Now, Jasmine family, this is humongous because we have just gotten reports by the Jasmine CFO himself that Jasmine is officially getting accepted as a method of payment through the now payment software. Now, this is humongous because as it has been made clear that now payments plans to use Jasmine as a method of payment, citing in a tweet that ditch the old, embrace the new, more security, faster transactions, and global reach all with Jasmine Payments. Now Payments help you integrate this game changer into your business, carving out a new revenue path and e-commerce or gaming, every sector winning with Jasmine MGT. Crazy enough, even Jasmine CFO has made it clear that they are really striving to implement Jasmine as part of the payment method systems across the entire globe, to which he quote tweets and cites, we will continue to expand the use case of Jasmine with Now Payments. Now this is one out of many things that we're gonna go over in today's video that proof that Jasmine is a utility based coin and that it has actually officially begun its integration into not just on the small scale of institutions and retail stores but also on the global level when we look at companies like Sony and even the Japanese government. And so today, before we jump into that, let's do a bit of an overview of the Japanese coin, also known as the Japanese Bitcoin, Jasmine. Jasmine is a market cap of 190 million with a volume in the last 24 hours at 12.19 million. It's been sitting at a price of approximately 0.0039 cents and has hit an all-time high of around $4.99 USD. Now again, looking at the daily charts here, we do see that Jasmine is actually up approximately 0.8% and on the weekly about 5%. Now throughout my journey of digging into Jasmine and the coin itself, I went on the journey to uncover the team and what are the correlations between Jasmine coin and the Jasmine foundation. And this is why I uncovered some of the most crazy news that is going to blow your mind. In fact, it was actually posted in a space by the official Jasmine US Twitter page and there is a direct quote at the bottom from the actual space and here's what it says and i quote by harnessing these technologies we have developed a new product the world's first blockchain pc which is scheduled to release in may 2023 from hong kong jasmine a venture company of sony partnered with the hong kong pc brand avidia to develop manufacture and distribute this blockchain pc initial orders are mainly from hong kong and south asia with already over 20,000 orders received our future goal is to expand sales to japan the united states and ultimately worldwide now this thread alone is actually very important to dissect because there are some very crucial pieces that have been mentioned First off, the fact that Jasmine has been made clear to be a venture company of Sony, which is actually mind-blowing because it emphasizes the importance of the Jasmine Foundation and how it is almost impossible to collapse unless the Sony Foundation collapses, and that is not going to happen. The second big thing here is that the Hong Kong PC brand NVIDIA has officially partnered with Jasmine to develop, manufacture, and distribute a brand new, or also known as the world's first, blockchain personal computer computer. Now, this is another major thing because once again, it brings eyes back to Jasmine and it shows you the collaborations that are being hosted. And to top all of this off, it shows you guys that there is potential that Jasmine is going to get used as a method of payment to purchase the blockchain PC that is currently being manufactured. And we'll go into further detail about this, of how Jasmine is utilizing this personal computer to their advantage, even past the goal of payment service for their Jasmine coin. Now, the last thing that we wanna look at is also connected to this, but it's actually the idea of the future goal for Jasmine to expand outside of Japan and ultimately to the entire globe, including the United States of America. So let's begin with the first one. Now there's a lot of things that prove Jasmine's a venture company of Sony. And one of the things that we talked about was the space here. Now I'm not gonna go ahead and make you hear it because it is literally a direct quote that we just spoke about, but there is more proof to this. And that actually happened recently when the Jasmine CFO tweeted an article titled Kudu News Article, where the former Sony exec lays down security gambit to tech giants and makes sure he mentions the fact that Jasmine is going to be working with them to go ahead and fix a lot of the security measures and protect personal data for Sony and for all of the other companies owned by Sony as well. And so here it is quite clear the exact CFO this is not fake, this is actually a fact, 
I did some in-depth research and that is what actually is happening right now. Now within regards to the blockchain PC, this actually gets quite interesting because on this case as well, the Jasmine CFO has made it clear that they are pleased to announce the launch of the NVIDIA blockchain PC with Jasmine's blockchain network at Computerix Tapia in Taiwan. We are delighted to finally be able to expand globally and please feel free to contact us for orders and test use case. Now this is humongous because even though we spoke about them restricting kind of the delivery of personal computers because they don't have enough which was back on the date of July 23rd but the important thing that I want to mention here is the fact that things are falling into place. We're seeing the utility for Jasmine coin. We're seeing them build real world use case by allowing it to be a method of payment by building products around it like the NVIDIA PC which is actually going to not only revolutionize the blockchain world but it's going to bring a lot of attention to Jasmine. Specifically when you talk about the first ever blockchain network computer which is most likely going to get used in multiple countries in the west like Europe and Canada and the United States. We're going to see a lot of eyes at the two companies that built this and that is going to be the Jasmine Foundation which is going to be relevant to the Jasmine coin and the NVIDIA blockchain PC, which also has NVIDIA as a personal computer and as one of the manufacturers that helped build it as well. All right, guys. Now, I also want to quickly mention that I am hosting a Jasmine giveaway very soon. And it is very easy to enter the Jasmine giveaway. Just simply tap the like button, share this video to two friends and family members, and subscribe to the channel with your post notifications. I'll also be posting a lot more Jasmine content. So if you want more Jasmine videos and more Jasmine giveaways, make sure you guys show your support in the comment section. I'll be rolling the giveaway winner once we hit 20,000 subscribers, and let's get right back into the video. Now, I thought I'd end off with this quite big Big shocker that got me jumping out of my chair when I first read about it. Because unlike any other crypto company, Jasmine is working on patenting themselves so that nobody else can copy them. In fact, in a tweet here by Brian, he said, so I definitely found out one of them. And I'm semi-certain of the other two at Care Finance. Back in April, I made a post about Manabu Sakatone, which is listed in the two recent Jasmine patents as an inventor. And he is in fact the person who designed the famous PlayStation logo. So not only does this reaffirm the fact that Jasmine has begun patenting whatever they can whether it be their logo or their service that they provide but that also sony which actually creates the playstation has clearly a deep connection with jasmine and i wouldn't be shocked if in the next couple of months we find out that an official partnership is formed and that sony will begin using the jasmine foundation's cybersecurity technology as part of all of their softwares which could actually include the playstation as well now the tweet Thread itself continues by saying that reposting this because it glitched the first time and had no pictures attached to it, Sakamoto San has a business called Aerograph with Jasmine listed as a client slash partner, as well as many other relative companies such as Kotiko, and he is listed as the designer for Jasmine in all its media articles in Japan, covering a few employees of Jasmine. So as you guys can see, here's his company, Aerograph, that he's founded, and it shows that he's partnered with Jasmine as well. Now it goes into further detail about all this, and you guys can go ahead and slow down the clip and read as you wish but the fact of the matter right here is that things are getting serious for jasmine and even this right here says cure Fi says jasmine community any insight on the last two names on the patent is this the same manubo sakamoto that created the playstation logo because it is official that the jasmine logo got patented and by who well to shock you guys by the same guy that had created the playstation logo all right guys that's going to be the end of the video but i think i'm going to be posting more jasmine videos as well as more jasmine content on both my youtube channel twitter and and Instagram, which I'll link in the description. So, as you guys can see, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!